Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian. Today I'm doing a birthday pour. Today is my birthday. Um, you're not going to see this video on my birthday, but you'll probably see this. Today is what, Monday? So you're probably going to see it on Thursday. September 6th is my birthday, Labor Day, um, which was always kind of a rotten day to start school for me when I was a kid. Um, but in any case, today I am going to be doing yet another new pour for myself. So as you know, I started out my channel doing a lot of Dutch pours, which I still love and which I am still going to continue to do. But um, because I have gotten the mix pour in from Krista Rasmussen, and I'm watching a lot of videos from Mina Villegas and the Massey Boys and uh, Cause Creations and Sarah Mack and Sarah Taylor. Um, because I'm watching all these videos, I'm learning how to do different pours now. So um, today, actually, September 6th, I posted a new video. That was my very first split cup ring pour, which I was very happy with. I'm loving the results. Um, so head on over there to that see that video if you haven't already seen it. But today I'm going to be doing a paint grenade, which... I've seen Jeremy Massey do it, um, Mina Villegas do it. Uh, in fact, I just watched two of each of their videos today. So um, I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size. We'll talk about the colors and how we perform this paint grenade. I'm sure most of you already know how to do it, but if you don't, I will show you how it's done. And of course, I will probably link in uh, their videos as well as their channels. So, all right, guys, I will be right back. I'll get you down on that canvas. Okay, so let me start off by letting you know I've got a 24 by 30 canvas. This is gonna take about 26 ounces of paint. So what we do is you multiply the length times width, you multiply 24 times 30, then you divide it by 28, and you get roughly 20, 25 ounces, I believe it is. Um, we're gonna round up and make 26. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing four cups of paint, and I'm gonna turn them over. Now, as you can see, uh, this is a uh, piece I already painted on. Um, I, it's not that I don't like it. I just, there's some things about it that I'm not crazy about. So I decided to pour over it, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'm loving the top portion, but when I blew my colors into the yellow, as you can see, I got mud. So probably the yellow was not a good idea to, uh, use as a base um, but you live and learn and again it's not that i hate the piece because i actually like the piece um, but not enough to keep it so as i said before i am going to be doing a paint grenade now a paint grenade is when you have a cup and you have a pen in the cup and what's going to happen is i'm going to layer my paints inside the cup and then i'm going to turn it over and let all the paint seek down to the canvas and then after I've let it sit for a few minutes, I'm going to pull the pin out. In essence, there is the paint grenade. And then the paints are going to flow out. And then I'm going to use the cup and kind of bring them out along the edges and let them flow together. And then I'm going to tilt it off. Sounds easy, right? <laughs> we shall see. Um, so let's talk about the colors that I'm going to be using today. Today I'm going to be using Amsterdam's Prussian Blue, Deco Arch 24 Karat Gold, Pepeo Studio Acrylic Iridescent Blue Black. Love this color. I'm going to be using Artist Law Flow Acrylic White along with Deco Arch Satin Enamels White. I'm also going to be using um, Amsterdam's Payne's Gray, which this is kind of shocking to me because I love the color Payne's Gray. Amsterdam's Payne's Gray is very much gray-like, whereas I tend to use Creative Inspiration's Payne's Gray, and that looks a little more blue. So we'll see how that's going to come out. I'm also using Studio Acrylics um, Iridescent Blue Green, and I'm also going to be using Arteza's 
pearl sea green. Very excited about using this one. I haven't used it before. It came to me busted up and Arteza was nice enough to send me another bottle, but what was left in here is still usable. So they said, keep it and use it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start layering the colors and I'm going to put my Prussian blue in first. I probably should have poured maybe the paint in first and then put the pins, but that's okay. So let's add a little Prussian blue here in the bottoms. You know what I am gonna do though? I don't need to dent up, create a huge dent in the canvas. So let's do this. All right. Make sure you guys can see all of these. So again, we're gonna add Prussian glue first. So that'll get the cups sitting there. And then I'm gonna add some gold. These are just dirty cup pours. Extender, which I don't know what the color is because this is just some paints that were scraped off of my table and all I did was add a little bit of the mix pour to it and I also added some water to thin it down. I think I'm going to add just a skosh. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to kind of give four corners. So I'm going to start like right here in the centers there. And then when I release them, I'm going to drag them this way to the perspective corners and they're going to flow together. Then I can tip off. All right. this one. Beautiful. one. 
There it comes. And the last one. Now I'm loving these colors together. Oh, I didn't pour my gold down. Oh, I mixed up the gold so I can pour it before I flopped my colors over. So what I was hoping with putting the gold down and then plopping the colors over top of the gold, one, it would help the colors kind of the paint move, but also it might have given me some gold cells. However, I'm getting gold just from the mix. So, loving the colors though. I'm gonna let this sit just a few minutes so it can kind of marinate a little bit with these colors and just bring up any cells that's gonna come up. All right, I'm gonna to torch this from some bubbles. I'm gonna bring this back towards me so I don't have to stretch so far. I'm gonna pour out a little bit of my flow extender where I need it. wet so you've got some some paint there to get the other paint to flow over. Alright let's let's see what I like here. Kind of digging this over here. So
Gosh, I hope you guys can still see this. So I'm gonna torch this off for some bu air bubbles to make sure everything's popped. I'm gonna do a quick scrape of my sides or edges at the bottom of me. All right guys, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. Be right back. All right, here we are for the wet result. Um, I'm loving this. I would absolutely love this. Um, again, this mixed pour, but I'm loving the white satin enamel, how that mixed with the Artist Loft white really created these white, wonderful, beautiful cells. Got the gold, got the blue black, got the Payne's gray. I mean, everything really just came out. Let me bring you in for a close up. And it's gonna have a lot of shine and shimmer to it because it's got that gold. It's also got the two iridescents from Pebeo Studio. Just gorgeous. I'm loving the lines that it made. Got some small cells in there. It's funny how it almost made, well, that paint's gray is pretty dark. So it kind of makes them almost black anyway, so. Just beautiful, just, just beautiful. All right, guys, once this dries, I will show you the dried result, okay? All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, here is the dried result. This came out really nice. Um, I decided to turn it upright so that it can hang vertical because um, I just like the composition of it like this much better. Um, just a beautiful piece for my first time doing a grenade i am very happy with the outcome i'm loving the cloud-like effect with this white that's that deco art satin enamels um just beautiful along with the mix of course i'll bring you in here real quick got some nice gold cells in there nothing too extravagant but the lines got out of it was really beautiful. Reminds me a little bit of a stream. Water, some mud over here. Pardon my dirty top to my jacuzzi. We'll be using that a lot in the winter. All right, everyone, as usual, you can email me directly if you're interested in purchasing any of my pieces or if you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free to send them away to Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post some new video content. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.